a little bit of natural abrasive. Canteen cup Robert gave me. Had me some oatmeal in it. So you can take a piece of leather, take the flesh side of it, and get it real wet, and it's real pliable, almost uh, like a piece yeah, of silicone sheet. And you can pick up sand and fine grit out of a creek bed and use it to polish something. And then the other thing you can do is use it as a pot holder to grab something. So I think a little patch of leather in, uh, in your kit is, is a really handy thing. You can make it into something, too. It's a piece of material to make a, make a Watson out of it. So I have a little, little patch of it in my, uh, in my kit. These are cool. I don't have one of these in my kit yet. Um, but I kind of bought them to do, with, do that with them. But these are called a, these are called a gimlet. And it's a real kind of an antique way of, uh, of making a hole in things. Oh, like an awl? Yeah, it's like an awl, but it's got, it's got like... Uh, Almost like a oh, drill press. It's got yeah. like a drill press screw on the end of it, so it'll yeah, cut on the side. I've got a couple leads there. Uh, 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 yeah, so you can not only punch a hole, which is can be hard to get the needle through on leather, yeah. but you can take a little material out. Yeah, that's hard. So, yeah. and, and I was like, I don't want to put this whole kit, all of these in my kit, but it's like you know, one of these someplace in my kit might be kind of good. Yeah, different sizes. Yeah, there's a, there's a set of them there. I don't remember what it cost. It was way less than $10. Yeah, it's a gimlet. So you get most of your leather tools. I get tandy, yeah. Well, I've, I've bought some Chinese stuff online, but just about everything I've bought has just kind of been substandard like that. So now I've got enough stuff now that each time I buy something now, I try to buy the tool from Tandy. And it might be three or four times the price, but it works good. Yeah. Um, they're just, they're just better. I've got something in here. That's, uh, ooh, I do have some uh, ribbon tools. I don't have all my good rivets here. Though. That's an important tool for leather work. <laughs> yeah, but with right, so, so this you can go around a curved surface and put a mark in the letter that's parallel with the edge. And so now you, you have at least that part of locating your stitches are done. Then you take a little wheel with spikes in it and roll through that. And then you punch all the holes out. And, yeah. Wheels coming The stitching wheels? Yeah. And this yeah. How do you determine which wheels go like for what size leather? I don't know. I only have one tool. And I just bought the one that looked like it looked yeah. right, you know. In mine, I don't think you can change the wheel in. But I bet you if you buy the nice one at Tandy, you can probably swap out the wheel and change the spacing. But I would imagine the thinner the leather, the closer the spacing. Like you look at a wallet, it's going to be real tight and close. Um, and the bigger the thread, the bigger the part, probably the wider you want it. So, especially if you're going to use something like a, a sinew. Like this is really big thread, kind of simulated sinew. I might. I mean, I could I could put that in. With the spacing that I have, but it might be nice to space it out a little farther. But like every time I make a project, I usually end up ordering something. Um, just because, like when I made his sheet, I looked through all my thread and I thought, mm, none of this is going to really look good on my sheet. <laughs> and so I had to order some. But you know, you keep adding to your colors. And here's what's here's what's in your sheet. <clears throat> 
thing. You put your holes in before you put a groove in it, or you groove it first and then put the holes in it? You, 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 you mark it first yeah. with the with the uh, compass side. I um, know that. And yeah, then you'd want to groove it, and then you would roll all the pen bricks in. And then I'll take a drill press and a sixteenth or a little the next size up bit and drill all the holes. You end up with a hole smaller than the bit because it kind of pushes the letter out. And I've broken a lot of needles because I was trying to do too small of a hole. So you can stick the needle in and grab it with pliers and pull it through. Um, and and where does it does it cut a little material out? Yeah, and like one of my problems I had early on was I ordered a package of needles that were Chinese junk, and so every one of those I ordered was broken. Um, and then I took a trip to there was a nice leather shop, there's a nice leather shop in Indianapolis. I'm going to say it's called Runaway or something. It's kind of an unusual spelling, but it's right there next to the stadium, and uh, they sell every part of a shoe. You know, there's all kinds of leather, different thicknesses. You know, if you want to buy a strap, he'll, he's got a big piece of hide there. He'll make a strap, whatever width you want. Um, but while I was there, I bought a whole hand of needles. Because the good needles are not expensive, you know, a dollar a piece or something. And they don't, it's not like they're made of glass, you know, they're tough. Don't go to Hobby Lobby or places like that and buy them. Yeah, I've never bought anything there. Their stuff's always pretty expensive, but, but uh, yeah, but yeah, if you go on eBay and there's like six needles for $1.98 delivered from China, don't waste your money, you know. You clamp all your leather together before you stitch it, or? I glue it together. I glue it together. Yeah, with the barge cement. That's probably the most popular cement for that. I have a stitching pony. I didn't bring it down here. I did a, a YouTube video on how to build one. So, uh, oh, did you see mine? Oh, did you build one? Cool. Yeah. I have to admit, I did one thing different. Yeah. I two clamping bolts in it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a lot more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You put them side to side or top and bottom? Top and bottom. Okay. And I'll be sitting back really fine. Yeah. And I did move the job one up just under the two pieces there. Yeah. Yeah. And I got a really good body. Really good body, yeah. Well, you're the first person who's ever told me they built one of my projects, so that's awesome. Yeah, Yeah, so I. Uh, I did that to stitch together. Yeah, I, mean, I think I did that crook knife sheet. That's what I'm working on right now. Is it crook knife? Crook knife, yeah. I've got the collar. Uh huh. Uh, the problem with that is the, the curve itself is really difficult to get your way. Yeah. I'm still working on that. Oh, well, um. Yeah, you got to make like the whole side of the sheath open up. Right. Yeah, they so, yeah. yeah, that was kind of a weird okay. sheath to make. Everybody I've showed this, they can understand how you come up with that. Well, you just take a piece, piece of cardboard and cut out your parts and fold it. And, you know, when you can kind of get it working right on a piece of cardboard, then you can you got a template. Yeah. I've got mine down there. Heavy truck. Show it to you, Jim. It turned out exceptionally well. So, Video don't do it justice. Okay, right now I'm starting to work on molds and pieces like uh -huh. mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Oh, you're doing something big. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh -huh. my first two molds didn't work well. Yeah. So I'm still in the process of making the mold. Well, everything that I've wet formed, I've wet formed over an object that wore a machine for. But, but yeah, I uh, I want to make like a pouch or something uh -huh. with a wooden block mold. Right, well, that's exactly what I'm doing. There's a guy from the UK that has a really good video on it. Uh, that's the Leotis? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, so I've been following his stuff. But getting the mold correct is the hardest part. It's not the leather work. Well, one of the things I want to try that he doesn't do is taking the sheet of leather and stapling it or tacking it to the wow. female mold uh -huh. because it's amazing how far it'll stretch. Oh yeah. And then I think you can push it down mm -hmm. 
and then just again not have as many wrinkles because you're spread, you're pulling it everywhere. Um, and then of course you, uh, after you get it glued together, and like something I didn't mention earlier, after you get it glued together, you know you can even up all your seams with a disc sander. Right. So now what I've been doing there is I've got a, a one by thirty uh -huh. sander that I use for knife making and stuff, and I just run it across that. Boom, it's done. I'm yeah, the 200 bit belt. Yeah. You got a YouTube channel? No. I just watch them. You, you need to get one. Have you ever made like a sunglass strap? Throw up sunglasses or something out of leather? No. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, these things like the gist or something. It's the yeah. stamping is the hard part. The stamping? Stamping in the sunglasses. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know how you'd hold on to the, to the temple, though. So. With the leather, I guess you could put a hole in it. And so these are just like it just slides over, and you just. I, don't know, I guess you could. Yeah, I don't know like how to make a wider piece and then make it and form it to it like you were doing a knife and then yeah. sew it. But it, it could be kind of cool. Yeah, I think that'd be something. I don't know if you got to do cool to do. It's a you can make it thicker on the back. You put like design. That's a sheet that he made for me. Uh huh. Nice, nice. I like these props. You ever made a phone case? No. Or a phone pouch, I guess. Uh -huh. That case would be hard. I have made a couple of um, white leather. Uh huh. And uh, those seem to work pretty well, but you're only using one roll here. Yeah, this part. This knife pouch here, I don't like, but mm -hmm. I want a molded one that it just holds on by friction. That's going to be difficult. Yeah, and it's very difficult. Well, I've got the knife to mold it over, though. <laughs>